Scarborough's trying to pass. They're in deep trouble. Cale Yarbrough's over the wall. He never even touched the guardrails. He sailed down that 40-foot slope. Quake slides through the infield. Leroy Yarbrough was clipped as he tried to avoid the collision. His trunk lid was torn off. Up through the S's. Through the S's, uphill, left, right, left. Oh, one car off. Scott Bully in the way, and we're stacking them up. Oh, oh my God. My. One car up and over and over the fencing. Wow. We didn't wear out our welcome here because we were having a great time in the Texaco car. Hey, I've got to go, Robbie. There's been another accident on the track. Thank you. All right. Racing back to the line. Sterling Marlin trying to make up a lap. There's Stan Smith's car demolished, and there's some flame coming out. Take a look at what happened here that's brought out the second caution of the day. There's Stanley Smith in the middle in the black car. They were running three abreast going into that turn, Ken. There's the car number one of Rick Mast. There is one car that has gone over the wall, as you see in that. And we'll get that for you in a moment. Stan Smith's car was destroyed. There is another car that went off the top of the... Rusty gets out of the way now, Cotton Penny. the guardrail, side over side, end over end, and Davey Allison has experienced a horrifying crash. With Joe Eubanks, number six, right behind him, and four. A car through the rail in the first turn. It's Pagan. Pagan blew a tire, smashed through the guardrail, and rolled down the 40-foot embankment. Suddenly, two tons of automobile traveling 115 miles an hour disappears from sight. An oil slick on the first turn and a missing guardrail torn out in a previous accident was a combination Jack Smith couldn't handle. Although number 47 is completely wrecked, the driver walked away. Jim is a wheat, rolls through nine and flips over the fence. A cloud of dust, 30 feet of missing guardrail. One car unaccounted for, another crippled. Then a gas tank torn loose from the disabled car by the shock of collision is crushed by another car and ignites. In seconds, a chain of events that can lead to disaster confronts every driver hurtling into the corner. The missing car is Bill Brown's. It pitched over a 26-foot embankment and lies wrecked, although the driver is all right. ...events we've seen here this month. Just prior to halfway, Robert Huffman hit Dave Stacy coming off turn two. David Huddle and George Crenshaw were also involved. The recent heavy rains made the grass a skating rink, and Stacy's car slid all the way to the dirt embankment, flipped over it, and amazingly landed on its wheels in Lake Lloyd. Rescue workers waited for the 29-year-old Eden, Ohio driver to clear the cobweb before he got out. He just got in way too hot. You see, now he's in the gravel, no way to stop that truck. It hits the tire wall, climbs it, gets into the fence, and almost into the parking lot big on the back. Big flip, big roll. Now, tire walls uh, are a mixed blessing, and anybody who's road raced a lot has been into their share of them. I got in a wreck and uh, went over the first corner, went out of the ballpark. 